A Wisconsin tradition dating back generations is underway right now. We're talking about the quest for that prehistoric looking and sometimes elusive sturgeon. WISN 12 meteorologist Chris Glonier tells us why conditions on Lake Winnebago are perfect right now. We're about two miles offshore in Lake Winnebago. Near whiteout conditions, opening day made it dangerous, but Monday you could see the entire ice city. Jim Emmerich has been on the ice How are we doing? for about 35 years. Now I have my son and grandson and daughter in law and granddaughter. It's kind of a nice family thing. In Wisconsin, it's a $3.5 million source of revenue. It's a big lake. It's 35 miles long, you know, and it's 10 miles wide. And he can tell by the number of shanties it's a popular sport. This isn't your typical ice auger, it's a hybrid chainsaw that's able to cut deep into the ice. And it's not your typical hole. The dimensions of this four feet by three feet and that ice is two feet thick. It's a waiting game. A lot of people probably got one and then they haven't got any in 30 years after that. Emmerich's grandson Cody missed his fish this morning and is convinced his mother in the shanty next door got it. What's up, beauty? 96 pounds. It's hard to get out of the water just by yourself. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, and they were just my father-in-law, Jim, and my son Cody came and grabbed it out for me. Lisa Emmerich's first fish ever and her last for the season. The state allows you to take a single fish, that's it, because it takes a surgeon 20 years to spawn. That's why the DNR closely monitors the population. What's your guess? Jim Emmerich will be back out tomorrow with his grandson. Quality time, but distraction free. It can be gone in a flash, just like that big buck, you know. On Lake Winnebago, Chris Kloninger, WISN 12 News. Wow, Lisa, and since Saturday, the sturgeon count uh, is just over 1,100, and the state says we could reach the limit for the season by Thursday.